and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It uh, it has been a while since I uh, posted any new, new videos, but uh, here is it, here is this. Uh, this is a graphical color LCD QFT TFT. So it's uh, 240 by 320 in resolution. It has uh, 64,000 colors, and uh, I bought this board on eBay. And uh, there's a small keypad. It's uh, 2.4 inches, so it's quite big, as you can see. There's many fingers. Uh, so I have written some, uh, written some uh, small software to it. It has a clock here, not a real-time clock, even though it is a real-time clock uh, inside here. But I haven't got it to function as it should yet. But it, as you saw, it has a calculator stuff like that and uh, AD graph which uh, which, is, which is taking the uh, voltage from this uh, AD converter and uh, put it on the screen so I was going to flip this up and uh, reset the screen we can actually by modifying this we can to our own graph and uh, we can adjust the speed by changing the other potentiometer. We can go back. We have Bresenheim graphics. I, uh, I made this in a infinitive loop because it's quite uh, hard work for the a small microcontroller to do, so I want to see how long it could uh, be going before it stops. Uh, like if it was uh, well over overstimulated, uh, we can go back. Mm, we have ordinary text. This is Swedish, and uh, where the dots are, it's so supposed to be the Swedish letters. O -A -A, and it says it's possible to get uh, those uh, letters by direct uh, addressing in the C data, which you saw in uh, the AD graph. Here we have a Swedish letter F R O N from from. Uh, I have actually implemented a blue screen also because if you address outside the resolution it you may screw up the memory inside so I have, have made a small program that manually addresses outside and just test the blue screen routine so this is and it says you are only able to address here from 0 to 239 and 0 to 319 240 20 we can <laughs> we can actually disable the blue screen also if we want to, but now we should reset. We do it here. And of course we have the tradition traditional tracking and classical. <laughs> I, I couldn't make uh, one without this. Uh, I like this. So it's randomly put a random pixel on the screen and tracking it down. Much smoother than the Nokia display also. We can go back. Uh, we have memory speed test. Transferring 10, uh, 1 megabyte. In the internal memory. for it and it's done returning to menu so we have the so far we have calculator AD graph Bresenheim graphic text blue screen uh, artificial A uh, int intelligence tracking and memory speed test and uh, well this is just the beginning uh, I'm going to implant a uh, pretty advanced graphic library and trying to make some small games on it actually.
uh, and trying to well I'm going to take the pictures from here put on the screen there which uh, isn't too difficult I uh, I don't know but uh, as you can see this is much much better screen uh, display than the Nokia display and it's much faster because it's parallel right now is the 8 bit uh, uh, interface even though it has a uh, 16 bit but 8 bit was uh, more easier to use with a big uh, microcontroller and right now I'm using a crystal that runs on 8 megahertz but it's in the PLL mode so it runs on 32 megahertz well that's all for now so have a great time and bye